Hi guys, I'm Hex Trojan, and you're watching Gaming Hexa, and something a bit different for me today. Um, RimWorld. Uh, I've been playing RimWorld for a, a little while now, and um, I've found myself with the recent updates playing it a bit more, so I figured I'd do a bit of recording, seems I'm going to be playing it anyway. Um, uh, for those of you who know, you know all about this screen here. You've just crash landed, and it's telling you that there's three of you and your cry sleep chambers have crashed to the surface of a planet now I've just done a random area um, I'm not entirely sure if uh, uh, what to expect I don't even know what the temperatures are going to be like it looks like desert um, which is new to me I don't really I usually when I select the landing site myself I usually go for the easy choice of a forest with trees and stuff like that so this will be interesting we're gonna go head straight into it this is 0 0.12 I'll wait for the music to stop this is 0 0.12 on the um, version oh look look it's Bongo Bongo the Retriever as part of the update animals dogs that you can train and um, so just seeing who's got the best, oh, you got the best weapon, there we go. That means you can have the gun, and you can have the little stupid knife. Right, um, yeah, dogs, cows, chickens, alpacas, elephants, rhinos, you name it. Um, they are all now tameable. Tameable, that means you can farm them, herd them, whatever you want to do with them, milk them, take their eggs. Um, which is another reason why I've, um, I have this sort of new lease of life for this game. Always been interested in this game. Um, never really lost interest in it, but this has just made it that much more interesting now. Um, it was something that was missing from the game, and I think it's it's gonna it's given it a whole new uh, lease of life. I'm worried now. Um, I'm looking for a large bit of mountain to dig into to give me some of that shelter but um, it looks like I have to set up for one of these ones I can use one of these buildings here as an annex maybe gosh darn it right let's crack on you can inspect impressiveness yes we'll get into that later well dudes let's dig Get these guys out of the open. I'm just going to start off by making it one large room, which I can later, if I have to, separate into a couple of rooms. Right, let's get a stockpile up and running also. I don't think you can grow on these areas, can you? No, that makes sense. It's a desert. Um, Start pile there, they can start hauling stuff, and eventually I'll stick. Ah, oh, cactuses, wood. Look at that, chop wood. I'd be surprised now if that gives me wood. And it's, uh, this, uh, this will be interesting. I want to see if this actually gives me wood. And it does. And you know what is an idea, actually? It is 18 degrees out here, which isn't an unbearable. It's summer, though. Which means that if that's the heat in summer, we're probably going to be in for some cold winters. So, let me think. Is there a net there? There's a nice area around here where we might actually get some stuff growing. And I think... Wood might be an issue. So that's what I'm going to do here. Is what's more likely to grow here? Probably cactus, but I don't see cactus. Will it allow me to plant an oak tree? Maybe. Just looking for any more resources in the area that might come in useful. Here we go, metal. So we've got a Labrador. 
which uh, brings us a couple of new things that have been introduced now we don't just have sleeping areas for our people which they want to hurry up and dig this out because otherwise they're going to be sleeping in the cold tonight let's put a door on the front just quickly and I'll have a dumping area sorted out as well sorry if I'm going too quickly I just um, I know that night time will be coming quite quickly and I want them to be as prepared as possible dumping area this isn't really leaving me much choice um, I'm gonna have to scram these in here somehow like this maybe and the poor doggy doesn't have anywhere to sleep so here it is animal sleeping spot or an animal sleeping box or a, a fur bed for your animal whichever you prefer obviously we're gonna have to go for the sleeping spot for now um, I feel terrible that he's gonna be sleeping outside I don't know if he'll survive the night to be honest uh, maybe I'll put him in there when well, the doggy can stay in there it may or may not be the difference between him surviving the night oh she's Oh, well, the tree's got planted, so that's good. <laughs> I was worried that um, they might not plant them, but they did, um, which is good. But they're, whether they grow or not now. <sighs> yeah, grow freight. And again, it is night time, so. At least we um, dug into a nice bit of steel here. We'll use that steel to separate the rooms up later. So, what we're going to do while we're waiting, we're going to his training and we're going to set his obedience. It says here the animal can be assigned a master who will, it will follow and defend. So, we'll get that one done first. Um, he will slowly train up to that and once he's got obedience that means you can assign him a master which is cool So yeah, when you eventually set up your base so that you can trade with these um, passing traders, um, you'll be able to buy animals and sell animals and much in the same way that you can buy settlers and sell people or your captives to them. The animals will work much the same way as that as well. Look, Bongo's gone to bed. Good boy, Bongo. How, how hot or cold are you in there? What is that? 23 degrees. 20 degrees. Why is it warmer over there? 18 degrees outside. I do have a feeling that this map is going to get pretty cold. It looks it looks like it's going to be a cold map, even though it's desert. I just have a feeling. Right, no point in watching them sleep, is there? Slaughter? We don't want to slaughter Bongo. What are you? Sc a mega scarab. Yeah, he is definitely a mega fucking beetle. And we got an iguana. You can you can tame an iguana. Have it as a pet around the place. All oh, little footprints in the sand. Where are you, Bongo? Why is your one not mining? Don't tell me my only decent miner is someone. I'll tell you what. As you can see down here, they've placed all the um, 
actions that were before available here are now along the bottom which is handy the only sort of gripe I have with this is that I tend to overshoot with the mouse and I'll end up scrolling down a lot when I'm just trying to get to something not all the time just sometimes but, um, yeah it's handy to have it all at your fingertips now let me go to mining quickly mine right you're a decent miner as well you may as well mine too that was a waste of a day look If I click on him, can I see how his training's coming along? No. Needs. Food. What do you feed? Food is the amount of nutrition creature consumes recently. If it is at zero, creature will take starvation damage over time. So how what do I feed the dog? What does the dog eat? Good. You can decide what level of care, um, um, medicinally, that the dog or your animals receive. That's quite good. So I should have two people mining now. There we go. There's one of them going off and one anyway. That beetle. I'm not sure how it's going to behave. I don't think I'd be lying there staring at the clouds if there was a beetle that big running around my head. Not about time. Let me just slow this down a tad so I can. How much wood do we have? We have more steel. So I think we'll. we'll uh, how much does that cost? Five steel. One, two, three. Three. Hmm. Deconstruct one of those. was a bit preemptive taking away her bed but uh, that's a shame so these are growing at all they're growing slowly very slowly chop a bit more wood wakey wakey come on yeah micron microton that's what they call the sound. in the meantime we're not very prepared um, one two three so there maybe let's cheat a bit on this one stop on doing that for now we may be able to quickly bed in here. Oh, 
I was already mining that one. Couldn't really see that from where I was. Um, uh, what do I want? Uh, steel wall. as long as they're not harassing us. Who is it? Just for the sake of it. A spy. There's always a spy. Jerry Jebeer. Jebeer? Jebeer? Him anyway. Bramble. Hopefully he's not going to lose his mind. Uh. Yes, you slept on the ground. We know you're not happy about it. Now we're going to work on the next bedroom, which what I might do actually is just tamper with my entrance a bit, like that, get rid of that. side and we'll just cut out the rest. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Like that. And her bed will go in there. everyone has a bed. Where is there a geothermal vent? There's one up there. It's a bit far away. Is there another one? Yeah. be able to live with that. More visitors. We can afford a few of these, so we're just going to take the gamble on it. Oh, we found something. A new area has been revealed. Okay. Just this, there's not much in it really, but what? That's a different kind of floor. Sandstone tile. I claim that. No, I did. Damn it. Where are you? Madiguana. Well, maybe if I just try and keep my people indoors for now, and he might go away. Saves me getting injured. Uh, sorry, I was looking for what I was doing there. Mining. That's what I need to do. We're gonna... Oh, I can't mine it because it doesn't belong to me. I have to do this. 
then I have to deconstruct. There we go. It's 12 degrees out, it's very cold. I wonder if our little dude will mind if we move our stuff indoors, as in a previous update. This stuff uh, will deteriorate if outside too long. Right, yes, I'm working on the food side of things. And deconstruct actually all of this area. There, oh shit. Not council, deconstruct that. Maybe not that one. What I want to do is get some power generation going on. Yeah, so I want to put maybe batteries up. One, two, three, four, I think will suffice for now. We've found another area, have we? Did I just dig that out? I'm not sure. And then I'm going to work on some, some kind of food production because I'll have the ability to refrigerate this stuff now. I think in the meantime also I will get, I should have already done this. I always forget to get a growing zone going for the um, some kind of food. Growing. Oh, and it's growing season now. I think I left it too late but we'll just, we'll, we'll soldier on. Ah, oh, someone's joined us. It means I need an extra bedroom. It's always a pain in the backside. Um, okay. around up there I'm gonna have this area here yep all right this is where I'm gonna have my food production going on Idea being that this will be the production area, the butchering and the cooking, and this will be the freezer. And the only access to the freezer is through the cooking area. So the door's not being opened unnecessarily. And there'll be two doors, which hopefully might help with the heat. Um, dissipation of the cold is what I mean to say. Enough 
Frankfurt. We're getting there, we're getting there. Get this guy somewhere to sleep. I have not even really looked at who it was. I just assumed um, a villager named John has arrived. John Watt. He is an unstable butcher. Oh crap. Oh no. I really should have considered who I was allowing in. But then again, he didn't really give me a choice. He just kind of joined. Bramble is a bloody machine when it comes to her. I'm going to quickly cut this wall out so I can get power through to there quite quickly. It's going to go that way, like that. Um, and I'll you put some kind of wall down so I can put the wires through it. Because here. Uh, it reaches, so I actually do not need that, or that, or that. I think it's saying harvest because it's only these lot are only like in the 45 and 50 percent percentage of growth so that's probably why it said harvest yeah that's probably what it was also I might try doing what I can is getting some light for our little peoples work if they actually receive the power that might do it I'm not sure Until they seal that up, maybe. What's it on? 11 degrees. No, don't trap yourself in there, you plonker. It's only 11 degrees in there, you're gonna freeze. Okay, plus 10. What a div. There's such a massive amount of metal here, and um, that will help a lot. Right, this will be sealed off soon, and I'm going to bring down the temperature here to minus 19, maybe not so low, minus 15. Now I can start storing stuff in there. Food wise, let's see a stockpile. Let's do that, let's change the settings on it so that it is just food food and corpses but we want animal corpses 
maybe mechanoid corpses as well in case we uh, don't know if that makes a difference but um, I nearly forgot about our doggy oh, look we got this little corner here maybe we'll actually make him a proper bed It'd be nice for him what can we make we can't make one of them a steel cage sand blocks how many sand blocks do we have 32 how much is it going to cost 35 that's typical isn't it um let's make a wooden box then no we haven't got enough of that either looks like you're going to be sleeping in a mailbox son there we go and then I'll get rid of his one over there. Right, has this gone funny on us? Spores in 0.8 days. I hope we can get it before it does. And before I bring this series, this um, episode to an end, I'm just going to quickly get our food production up and running. And then that'll be it until we move on to the next. And hopefully in the next episode, we can, um, we can work on our doggy here, maybe. Let's see what he needs. Um, if I'm doing it correctly, I don't know, but we'll soon find out and we'll pretty up our base a bit. And uh, just realised that that's taking. We don't want that to take animal corpses or mechanoid corpses or human like corpses, to be honest. No corpses. So, quickly, on to production, and we want a butcher's table. And we want a cook stove, which should hopefully is going to need power. So, I should do the trick. Right, let's get rid of your stupid seat and spot over there. Lovely, and let's extend that. There we go. see something. Right. Did that spoil, I wonder. Won't spoil now. Good. We could do some hunting. No, 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 no to getting distracted I am when I said what I was going to do. <sighs> no. A group of pirates from the Ash Winners have arrived in drop pods nearby. They are attacking immediately. And on that note, I'm afraid I'm going to have to say goodbye. And I hope to see you in the next episode. So bye for now.